how solar storms create the northern lights. The solar storms that create the northern lights that have been seen this week are being studied by scientists in the Arctic to see why they disrupt satellite navigation systems. Flares from the sun interact with the upper atmosphere and can distort the signals from global positioning satellites, affecting measurements by tens of meters. The research project is underway at a remote observatory in the Norwegian archipelago of Svalbard in the High Arctic. Solar storms affected the Earth's magnetic field to create the aurora borealis. A solar storm is a disturbance on the sun that can release charged particles that interact with Earth's magnetic field and atmosphere. They can cause geomagnetic storms and global outages disruptions, damage technology like power grids and satellites, produce phenomena like the northern lights, and affect our biological functions. Solar storms, also known as geomagnetic storms or coronal mass ejections CMEs, can have several effects on Earth. When a solar storm reaches Earth, it interacts with the planet's magnetic field, causing several impacts. Aurora Solar storms can lead to vibrant auroras, also known as the northern and southern lights. These colorful displays are caused by charged particles from the solar storm interacting with the Earth's atmosphere. Power grid disruptions Strong solar storms can induce electrical currents in power grids, leading to power outages and equipment damage. Transformers and other sensitive electrical infrastructure can be particularly vulnerable during these events. Communication disruptions Solar storms can interfere with radio signals, disrupting communication systems such as satellite communications, GPS navigation, and radio broadcasts. Satellite damage Solar storms can negatively impact satellites in orbit around Earth. The charged particles from the storm can cause damage to sensitive electronics onboard satellites, leading to temporary or permanent malfunctions. Radiation exposure during solar storms, increased levels of radiation can be present in space. While Earth's atmosphere provides significant protection from harmful radiation, astronauts and passengers on high-altitude flights may experience increased radiation exposure during these events. It is important to note that while solar storms can cause disruptions and temporary inconveniences, they do not pose a direct threat to human health or the end of the world. Scientists and space agencies closely monitor solar activity to provide early warnings and mitigate the potential impacts of solar storms. There are generally two types of coronal mass ejections, CMEs, gradual CME and impulsive CME. Gradual CME are slower and have a longer duration, while impulsive CME are faster and have a shorter duration. These CME are both powerful eruptions of plasma and magnetic fields from the sun's corona. There are several classes of solar flares, with X-class being considered the most intense. The classes are categorized based on the amount of X-ray energy emitted by the flare. The classes are as follows. A class, small flares with little to no noticeable effects on Earth. B class, medium-sized flares that can cause minor radio blackouts. C class, medium-sized flares that can cause radio blackouts near the poles. M-class, medium to large size flares that can cause brief radio blackouts and minor radiation storms. X-class, the most intense flares with significant radio blackouts, radiation storms, and potential for geomagnetic storms. Each class is further divided into subclasses, such as MON, M4, M3, and so on, to indicate the relative strength of the flare within its class. Last G5 geomagnetic storm had hit Earth in September 1859. NOAA ranks geomagnetic storms on a scale running from gone, which could cause an increase in oral activity around the poles and minor fluctuations in power supplies, up to G5, which includes extreme cases like the Carrington event, a colossal solar storm that occurred September 1859, which disrupted telegraph. If you like the video, Share the same with astronomy lovers and subscribe to our channel Secrets of Space for astronomy updates. Thank you for watching.